Hope everyone's enjoying this wonderful Friday. Great weather ahead of us this weekend. Is it really? Yeah. What's great? Is we talking about 55, 65? I think I saw a, a 7. What? Yeah. Let me go ahead and check. Oh, you going to be wow. buns out this weekend. You're going buns out I'm for a, for a 70-degree Sunday? I feel, I feel good. I feel good. So that means I might need to take these buns out. Uh, that's Kyle Wallace. I'm Ben Bruss. Still no Brad Nortman. He left us for L.A. Haven't and we have, have not heard from him. Have not heard from him. So whatsoever. clearly he's not listening to the show because we've made a lot of mentions that we have not heard from him as he is at the uh, NFL Media Combine with 24 current and former NFL alum. Hope he didn't bring his resume. Why? Hey guys, uh, it just Brad started. Right, well, you know, listen, he's Brad Norman. He's he is a uh, what, what did uh Kurt Herbstreit call him? An offensive weapon? It was it Herbstreit? Well, I thought it was him. Guys, he he ran for one fake punt against he, Iowa. He had another one. I know too. he had a couple. You no, know, he's a he's a, a former NFL punter. He got drafted. You know, when you get drafted as a punter, you can get big shows. He may be the next up. You know what? I was going to say, if Brad left us, would you follow? No. Heck no. Absolutely I'm not. I'm here for you. Uh, well, what's the price? Everyone's got a price, you know? You got to be a mill. Uh, you need a mill? I need a mill to leave Milwaukee. Wow, you must be getting paid really, really good. I'm not getting paid well. I'm loyal. I am loyal. <laughs> You're not getting paid well? That suit says otherwise on YouTube at ESPN Milwaukee, at ESPN Madison. You can see Kyle with his tie that continues to fall off the center of his shirt. Yeah, because the way I lean, the way I'm leaning, no, right? Uh, I'm leaning. Do you need I'm help leaning. tying a tie? No, this tie is tied fine. What do you mean help tying no, a it's, tie? No, it's, it's leaning to your right. The knot's more to the right. It's not a great knot. Well, I, I think it's a pretty good knot, but, you know, I'm, I'm open to um, critique and judgment. Mr. I wear the same thing every week. Well, I've worn suits and ties more than you, I'd like to believe. Uh, absolutely not. Would not, you, even, not even close. Why have you had to wear, wear suits I, and ties? I legitimately grew up wearing suits and ties, and I legitimately wear suits and ties all the time. I have a whole closet full of suits. Uh, it's a suit and tie off. Yeah, do you, uh, you really think – when when's the last time you wore a suit and tie for a week? Ah, uh, never. Oh, all right, then. Sounds horrible. Exactly. Stop it. That sounds horrible. Now, I will say – The my, best thing that uh, – this sounds horrible. It's not the best thing that happened from COVID. But oh, wow. coming okay. off of COVID, I feel like there was a casualization of – Tube casual. Uh, of workplace this. attire, and I am here for I it. I don't even want to get started on this because I've talked about this before. The things that people wear in this office I find to be inappropriate. I do not want to start smoke with the beautiful people in this office that we work with. There's nobody here, so don't worry. They're all. Are they gone? Where are they at? Masters watch parties, I'm sure. Okay. Well, that's a waste. That's a waste. Who approved that? Uh, nobody. The truth uh, team is definitely here because we ain't watching that. Uh, why? Because I'm not approving it. And, I mean, we'll watch Tiger on Sunday on a weekend. If Tiger got on red, we watch it. 800-990-3776. That's the ESPN Wisconsin talk and text line. We're on YouTube at ESPN Milwaukee and at ESPN Madison as well. Um, earlier this morning, I do want to start here. Chris Canty of Unsportsmanlike with Evan Cohen, Michelle Smallman, and the aforementioned Chris Canty got into a conversation about some potential Super Bowl uh, champions in the future. And one was mentioned very specifically by Chris Canty. Which QB that has not won a title will get a title first in the NFL today? I'm going to go with Jordan Love from the Green wow. Bay Packers. Wow. Jordan right. Love from the Green Bay Packers. Ladies love Cool J. I mean, think about the history of this franchise. Brett Favre won a Super Bowl in his sixth year in the NFL. Aaron Rodgers won a Super Bowl in his sixth year in the NFL. This will be Jordan Love's sixth year in the NFL. In the second half of the season, he had the highest QB, QB rating of any quarterback in the National Football League. And then, of course, just the way that he stepped on the stage in the postseason, it's clear that it wasn't too big for him. I, I just think this team fully leans into Jordan Love. They fully lean into the identity that Matt LaFleur wants to create for him, and they take that next step to championship contention. That was Chris Canny earlier this morning on Unsportsmanlike across ESPN Radio. He picks Jordan Love as the quarterback without a Super Bowl that will next win. Kyle. I mean, that's my boy Chris. I don't even know Chris. <laughs> I don't even know Chris Canty like that. But that's, that's my, my boy. Because oh, wow. Chris Canty, what do you call him? Cool, cool J. So that cool J. That is up for a debate now. So Chris Canty called Jordan Love Cool J, and 
J Love is really what is the most popular. I'm not gonna lie. I think I might like Cool J better than J Love. Yeah, I mean J Love is definitely a good one, but that Cool J one, I don't know. It's a little bit of a, it's a little bit of a vibe. It's a little bit of a vibe. But it's for too me. close but, to LL Cool J. I mean, that's the whole point. That's probably the reason why he said it. That's the whole point of that is the fact that it's real. Oh no, heavens no! Don't do that. What I do? Don't do that. Don't do that. I was just saying no, what up. You know, that's not how you say what's up. That's, how do I say what's that's up? That's what Alpha can you explain, said. Can you, so Ben, all over, right, look, everyone, let's take a step oh, back here. The energy that Kyle Wallace has right now is through the roof because there's a fraternity conference. Don't that, say it like that. You are disrespectful. Let me explain. So I am part of a great Fraternities fraternity. are a joke. No, your fraternity might be a joke. My I'm not in a fraternity. Not, I'm part of, uh, I'm part I'm, of the Badger basketball I'm, fraternity. I'm, yeah, yeah. Mine is much better than that. It has a long history of that. <laughs> Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King is a brother of mine. Jesse Owens is a brother of mine. No, we, they're, they're not. The, yes, you know, have you spoken to them? I, they're part of my fraternity. They, they went through the same stuff I went through. So I am a member of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. We're founded You and in Martin 19, Luther King went are, through the same we, stuff that you we, went through. The, 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 that's what it is. You have things that you do that everybody does and so i am part of the same fraternity as our uh, martin luther king in his alpha phi alpha fraternity incorporate we're holding our 92nd midwest regional conference right here in downtown Milwaukee. is this the fraternity song no this is ll cool j because it's supposed to be cool j talking about cool j but you did something disrespectful when you see a when you see a black man in a suit with a tie on do do something you don't mimic what he do that's what we do you don't do that I'll, I'll, listen, you get jumped for stuff like that. We a gang, too. That's a gang sign. Okay, come on now. <laughs> All right, now. Yeah, yeah, listen. Ask my T-Boy what happened. Your frat did something to him? Some people I know. Yeah, put the hands to him. Put the paws to him. All right, so what what signal did you give? So basically we have a hand signal. It's just a hang loose hang signal. And so, I love hang loose. But, the, but it's not the purpose. I've been that. to Hawaii. Yeah, but the, you were you were mimicking what I was mimicking. Yeah, yeah you what were, I, that, Kyle, that we the are, we are, no, we are not, boys. We not that. Don't do that. Don't we, do no, that. No, I thought we were like that. We're not like that. No, you can hang loose, but when I do it to somebody else, you can't do it. I was just telling them you to hang gonna, loose. You're going to get me in trouble. They're going to be like, what you got that white boy in there doing? Which we have white people in our fraternity, but you just out here randomly doing stuff like that. Yeah, but and, I'm an extension of you. No, you're not an extension of me. Don't say that. Don't do that. Anybody, and I told my fraternity brothers I was going on air. Listen, y'all, I can't control him, okay? Nobody can. <laughs> nobody can control this man. <laughs> Right. Hang loose out there. Ha yes, hang loose. So shout out to my frat brother. Shout out to all the black men and white men as well. We do have <laughs> white people in our fraternity as well. All across Milwaukee this weekend. Hang loose, baby. Um, back to Chris Canny. Yeah, because you was tripping, boy. I, I didn't even know what I was doing. I know. You shouldn't. You shouldn't do it. You, don't be impulsive. How about that? No, no, no. How about that? No, I was not impulsive. If I jumped off a bridge, would you, do that? Would you jump off with me? I'd try and jump to save you. Oh. That's how connected we are. Oh, that's stupid. <laughs> I thought I thought it was hang loose. Okay, yes. That's is it true. not fair for me to no, think that, that if you're doing hang loose, it's hang loose? For someone as uncultured as you are, oh shut up! Absolutely, I would understand why you would you would think that. No, that makes sense. You didn't you didn't know you didn't know you were just you know naive. Hang you're loose. naive. Yes, hang I'm gonna be loose. doing that every segment now. <laughs> sure, you're hanging loose. I can't tell you what you can and can't do. It's just you know when I see my frat brother, that's a, a signal. What's up? It's a whole thing behind it. I can go through it, but that no, not we're, not do, we're not that's doing not that today. That's not for now. But I'll be, I'm very excited about this whole fraternal thing. But I'm also excited about what Chris Canty said. And you heard the song "I Need Love" because LL Cool J. I need love. I need Jordan Love too. I 100% agree with Chris Canty that out of that group between Lamar Jackson, Josh. Jordan Love is the most feasible option to select for the first player in that group to win a Super Bowl. Now I'll say this: It's not just because Jordan Love is talented. Jordan Love is not more talented than Josh Allen. He's not more talented than Lamar Jackson. But he has an easier pathway to get to the Super Bowl. Look at the two quarterbacks he had to go against. Well, one court, well, multiple quarterbacks. He went against Dak, beat Dak. He went against Brock Purdy. He lost to Brock Purdy. But Brock Purdy went against Jared Goff. He can beat all those quarterbacks. If that is the path that he has to face to get to the Super Bowl for the next three years, I feel good about that versus going to the AFC where you have a lot better quarterbacks in the AFC. We already know about Patrick Mahomes. We talked yesterday about Joe Burrow. You even had um, you had uh, Justin, Justin Herbert. Her Justin Herbert ahead of a lot of other good quarterbacks as well. It's not a crazy thing to do for the record. But, but, I'm, but what I'm saying is this, though. The pathway that you have to go through in the AFC – is a lot more harder than what Jordan Love has to go through to the NFC. So Chris Canty, like me, may love Jordan Love, but also we see the fact that Jordan Love doesn't have as much competition in order to get to the Super Bowl. That's why Jordan Love is the easy answer. Um, Kyle speaking and Chris Canty speaking felt like the same person. Canty did the 
Favre won it after six years of being in the league. Rodgers won it six years of being in the league. Jordan Love now in his sixth year of being in the league. Time's a flat circle. Rodgers in, in the Jets, Favre the Jets. Like, you all just think we're just living in this simulation, which we might be. But, but, I mean, come on now. If you, let's put this up on the poll, Chris. On Twitter at KBNESPN, who do you think is next to win their first Super Bowl? There's some names. I understand the pathway that you're talking about, but this pathway has been a pathway in the NFC for about five years now. And that's when you had a Hall of Famer in Aaron Rodgers. Now Tom Brady snuck in there for one year with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. That's the most disappointing one. Um, but it's been 15, 14 years since they've been in the Super Bowl. So let's go with Lamar, Josh Allen, Jordan Love will put in there because Canty believes as well, or the field. Because there's a lot of options, Kyle. And for 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 Canty to say Jordan Love is the next guy, I believe in Jordan Love. I don't believe the way that the rest of the roster is put together. They're not even the best team in the NFC North right now. So are you assuming that Chris Canty means the next guy as in next year? We're talking about more likely the next guy in that group. It's, it doesn't have to be next year. I understand is what the, the concept next is. Who, who, next who, guy could be in three. The, the first time for the next guy could be in three years. Um, it could be next year. But my point is, is there's too much known talent at that quarterback position, and we're leaving the era of being able to do what, what, like the name four quarterbacks better than Jordan Love in the NFC. Can you let me say my point before you just jump all over me because you're excited because your frat bros are in town oh, and you're talking nonsense? No, you're here's trying to thing. convince yourself of something. Joe, you know that's not Joe, real. Joe Flacco, right? Like all of those examples that everyone like. You don't like they did it with defense. We're moving out of that. Like un until we see quarterbacks that are not elite win again talk to me because right now Patrick Mahomes you can say Matt Stafford is as well like the best quarterbacks in the league are propelling their teams to victory we just talked yesterday about the fact that Jordan Love is trending towards elite we just talked about trending that, yeah, that doesn't mean that Super Bowl trending. over Lamar over a two-time MVP Lamar who has struggled in the playoffs yeah, thank you and Josh Allen, who has not been over Jordan Love has played 10 games. and he's I'm willing to pay Jordan Love to be the franchise quarterback. You can't yell at me for saying I'm not willing to put Jordan Love as the next guy to win a Super Bowl yeah, of yeah. guys who haven't won a this Super Bowl. Is, this is the issue that I have with all you folks with Jordan Love and not accepting exactly what's happening. It's happening. You don't have enough I sample size to act. He doesn't you have are a not clue. <laughs> I can see what's happening, and what's happening is this, is that Jordan Love is ascending to be the top quarterback in the NFC. We are watching it happening in front of our eyes, and I just don't understand. We watched Aaron Rodgers in the 2008-2009 season play very well in that season, and guess what? Guess who matched him? Guess who actually did better than Aaron Rodgers his first season as a starter? Jordan Love. So what is it about Jordan Love's stats? I know Just Jordan because it's the Packers conversation <sighs> of what Ro Rodgers did, Love did, you're forgetting about 31 other teams, and yes, he might have a pathway to the Super Bowl, but the pathway of winning the Super Bowl is facing all the other quarterbacks as well. I know, when, and we're talking about a team that hasn't been there for 14 years. So for me to act like time is just a flat circle and six years and Jordan Love, better stats than Rodgers, that's great. They're bringing a new defensive coordinator. Sure they have a kicker that you want to get rid of if you could in a second. I'm looking for Jake Bowers. But, but my, XFL, UFL. Jake Bowers is the tight end out of Georgia. What's his name? I thought it was Jake. Exactly. What's you don't even, you, you don't even the, know what you're talking about. What's the kicker about. name, Jake? I'm not telling you. What? Because Chris, I've, what's the, the kicker name? Jake Bates. 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 I'm going to be Jake B. I'm going to call him Jake B from now on. Uh, so here we go again with uh, Chris Canny now giving Kyle uh, a reason to believe everything he's wanted to believe. No, I, he heard one, one, one talking head on ESPN Radio this morning, and then, boop, Kyle's got his take for the rest of the day. No, he... 800-990-3776. 900 espn Is the poll up, Chris? Pulls up right now at KBN and ESPN at ESPN Milwaukee. That is, who would be next to win their first Super Bowl? Would you take Lamar? Would you take Josh Allen? Would you take Jordan Love? Or would you take the field? Because there's some good options in the field, too. Man, just thinking Jordan Love is going to do it after 10 games. Look, I think you should pay him and make the franchise quarterback. But we are ahead of our skis. Cart before the horse, horse before the cart. I don't know the saying, but whatever the right one is, that's what we're doing. I want to continue this conversation next. 800-990-3776. Kyle Bruston Norman across ESPN Wisconsin. This is Kyle Bruston Nortman, KBN. See you again. Oh, you need some. And then I said... I appreciate it. The same goes for you. Let me know if anything I can do for you. Obviously, what am I going to do for Russell Wilson? <laughs> You're the man.
Babysitter's Bad. kids. Bad. 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 Fake relationship <laughs> of all time. No way. On ESPN Wisconsin and WisconsinOnDemand.com. Ben Bruss here to tell you about Zimbrick European. They're Mercedes, Audi, Porsche, and certified pre-owned. But the best part is I've been working with them since 2018, and the evolution has been a two-door, a four-door, and now it's time for an SUV. My life has changed, and it's changed with Zimbrick European. Being a dad has made it really important to have the comfort and the safety that the SUV will bring me. Again, Zimbrick European off the belt line at Rimrock Road. Of course, I found the sexiest car on the lot. Check them out. Mark Tosha here for Chalmers Jewelers. I've been a big fan of Scott and Garrett and the whole team at Chalmers Jewelers for years now. I go there, my friends go there, and most importantly, my wife loves it whenever I get her something from Chalmers Jewelers. What's right around the corner? Mother's Day. Show some love to the incredible women in your life and stop at Chalmers Jewelers. The place to go for that perfect gift. I recommend Chalmers Jewelers in Middleton and Madison. Chalmers Jewelers in Middleton and Madison. Hey everyone, Molly Brown from ESPN Madison here for the best Southwestern food in the Madison area. It's always Pasquale's Cantina for me and my family. Whether I'm enjoying my favorite taco salad, their awesome chips and guac, or one of their famous burritos, Pasquale's is the best for authentic Southwestern fare. Visit one of their locations in Verona or Middleton today, or check out their menu and order online at Pasquale'sCantina.com. Bringing the flavors of the Southwest to the Midwest. Pasquale's Cantina. It's time for the Milwaukee Basketball Report on 100.5 ESPN. Brought to you by Bud Light. Lillard's going to tee up a three, and he splashes it through for the left wing. The choice to enjoy is easy. Easy to drink, easy to enjoy. The Milwaukee Bucks made it two wins in a row last night at five serve form, defeating the Orlando Magic 117-99. to Bobby Portis little scores with 30 points, shooting 14 of 18 from the floor in the first game without Giannis Antetokounmpo. Despite the injury scare earlier this this week, Doc thinks the vibe might be changing for the team. Wins help, you know that, like in life or anything. And, you know, last night's game was probably the reason we won tonight. You know, and it's, it's a good thing. With only two games left in the season, the Bucks are currently the two seed in the playoffs with a one and a half game lead over the New York Knicks. This has been your Milwaukee Basketball Report on Madison's home for Bucks basketball. 100.5 ESPN brought to you by Bud Light. Whether it's baseball season, basketball playoffs, or hockey playoffs, experience it live this spring with Vivid Seats. With one of the most reliable rewards programs in the business, Vivid Seats makes it easy to score great deals on great seats with a 100% buyer guarantee. Plus, with Vivid Seats rewards, you can earn with every ticket purchase, including surprise seat upgrades, birthday discounts, free tickets, and more. Just visit vividseats.com or download the app today. Vivid Seats, the official ticketing partner of ESPN. Get in zone, AutoZone. Welcome to AutoZone. What are you working on today? I think my battery's dead. With free battery testing and charging, we can help you get back on the road. Get in zone, AutoZone. So what if I need a new one? We have the right Duralast battery for you, only at AutoZone. Get in zone, AutoZone. And what about my old battery? We can recycle it right here at America's number one battery destination. Get in zone, AutoZone. Restrictions apply. Join the Madison Money Guy, Christian Finfrock, for Retirement Income Strategies, Saturday and Sunday mornings at 7. Get the information you need as you plan for retirement. That's Retirement Income Strategies, Saturday and Sunday mornings at 7. Investment advisory services offer the Retirement Income Strategies and SEC Registered Investment Advisor. Jesse Nelson here. Join Adam Mertz and me for the grand opening of the Bogey Factory in Verona. Experience indoor virtual golf like never before, including the same state-of-the-art track man technology as seen on the PGA Tour. ESPN Madison at the Bogey Factory, Saturday, April 13th from noon to 2. This is Kyle, Brust, and Nortman, sponsored by Bud Light on ESPN Wisconsin and Wisconsin On Demand. And I need love. On Twitter at KBN ESPN, which quarterback that has not won a Super Bowl yet will be the next one to win one? Josh Allen, Lamar Jackson, Jordan Love. Or the field. Right now, Josh Allen, 10%. Lamar, 7.5%. The field, 35%. And Jordan Love, J. Love, or Cool J, as Chris Caney of Sportsman like called him, at 47.5%. Now, here's my initial thought process when I see this poll. If 
There is this much for Jordan Love. Why mm. are people even saying no to our poll yesterday about what did that end at? I, I don't know, but I just know that it flipped from Jordan Love. Are you okay with him being the highest paid player in the NFL if if they reset the highest paid quarterback in the NFL if he resets the market when they sign him? What did it end up, Kyle? Oof, fifty nine percent no. So 59% want to say no, but they believe that Jordan Love is the first quarterback that hasn't won a Super Bowl that will win one? Like, that's just the, – the, uh, the math's just not adding up. And, like, and here's, here's why. The defense has not been good enough. And D Homer can get on here and tell me the points per game, what they did. They have not been good enough. If they were good enough, Joe Barry would still be here. Goody's draft picks in the first round should be producing more than they did last year, and we have I have doubts about what they're going to do this year because guess what? We don't know what this 4-3 is going to look like. I'm hearing Jason Wildy of Wildy and Tausch join us and talk about how Goody is likely going to approach the draft in 2024 the same way he did in 23 and build out the rest of the roster and ride with the young guys that he drafts in 2024. That is a bold strategy. I understand what he's trying to do, being young and fast, but you need some veteran experience. And if that veteran experience doesn't all come together in three years, then we're re like they're hitting the reset button on a couple things other than the quarterback anyway. Yeah, I, I just think you're looking... and special teams sucks. Like we don't that's true. A kicker, kickers matter. We 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 know now. Yeah, we're gonna try more get, than ever. We're gonna try to get Jake B. Trying doesn't do it. Greg Joseph. Jake B. Signing Greg Joseph to compete, Greg Joseph to compete with Anders Carlson and Jake Podleski and a UFL kicker. It's all it's all part of a pipe dream, and they're not even in conversations to bring in the sixty-two yard and sixty-four yard UFL bomber. Man, see, here's my thing. You look at this from a pessimist mindset, right? You a realistic. This, no, it's pessimist. If I, no, here's the thing. Just because you're no, overly optimistic doesn't I'm make a, me pessimistic. I'm not overly optimistic. What I do is yeah, I you're allow, blind. I no, I allow for what I saw last season. I just don't understand how, yes, it was 10 games at the end of the year, but Jordan Love had flashes of being good before that. And remember, during some of those struggles that Jordan Love have had, A, his coach wasn't letting him let it rip, let it loose, and B, his teammates, his receivers and tight ends weren't running the right routes. The team was not ready to truly play to their full potential quite yet. Jordan Love once he was unleashed, once he was able to let loose, what did he do? He absolutely No one's scored. questioning and, how and, good Jordan and, and Love so, was over 10 games. No, no, but even before that, Jordan Love had bright spots, okay? He had negative, but he had bright, bright spots. Had, I get it, but, but that doesn't equate had, to him being a see, Super Bowl see, you're champion. Not, you're not giving uh, him credit for the guys around him getting better. Like, he helped those guys elevate their game, and when he helped them elevate their game, his game went to another level as well. This guy is the leader of this football team, Ben. And what you're thinking is, you're thinking the last. Oh, 10 so games, now he's the leader. He no, wasn't the leader when, um, when Aaron, Aaron Jones, Jones yeah, left, and you were like, "Oh, I'm, I'm worried." Seen, oh, so now, now it's fine. I've seen enough. Oh, of course, you're arguing this now. It's I, I, fine. He's I've the leader. Seen, I've seen enough. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Is that you're using the first what eight games to dictate what you think this season may be versus using the last ten sample sizes to say this is where this team is going. I like. All what right. have you done for me now? Okay. And what have you done for me now is that this team ended up making a great playoff push. They played spectacular against the Dallas Cowboys, and they hung in there with the San Francisco hung 49ers in there. on the road. Hung in there for a, the youngest team to make the playoffs okay. since the 70s. A first-year starting I, we quarterback. We know all this. Can but, I ask you but, something? But Can I, I ask you something? So you, want, you, you want to do this now thing, right? Yep. All right. Do it now. Let, let's let, do it. Let's, let's talk about somebody. Like Let's put ourselves in a very similar scenario oh, yes, for a sir. different team. Okay. Who was in the Super Bowl, not last year, but the year before against the Kansas City Chiefs? Jalen Hurts. And how was Jalen Hurts in the Philadelphia Eagles last year? Uh, good than bad. Exactly. So, like, Jalen Hurts, who everyone, if you were in Philadelphia sports radio, oh, my gosh, we were in the Super Bowl. Jalen Hurts in his first, like, full season with weapons, A.J. Brown, a great offensive line, DeAndre Swift was great. Now they have, like... You would just be screaming to the high heavens last year that they're going to win a Super Bowl. He's going to be the next one in a Super Bowl. And now there's doubts about Jalen Hurts. So as quick as you can be on top through 10 games is as quick as you could also be just part of the mix trying to make the playoffs again. They did beat 
the crap out of the Dallas Cowboys sure in an did. impressive fashion. Jair Alexander made a great play early in that game, and the offense took over from Lock there. Lock me. But to act as if a team that's not even favored to win their division, you're acting as if they are the top three or four odds to win the Super Bowl. No. They're outside the top ten for this year. I'm acting as if this is a football team that has a quarterback that everybody sees the talent, everybody knows what the potential is, and if he can reach that full potential, and we've that's already got... That's a big got, if to put this if. bet on, It's though. not a big if. You, you said know if, though. It's not a big the, there's, if. There, I, I, I can, can say if, but we can, we can say how big that if is. Your if might be the size of, you know, Lake Michigan. My if is the size of the Milwaukee River down here in downtown Milwaukee. That's how big my if is. I'm not too concerned about Jordan Love taking that next step. Jordan Love stepping up and being the quarterback consistently that he was at the end of the season. There is nothing that he has shown you in the last 10 games that makes you say he's going to regress back to Jordan Love a week four. Nothing about his game. No one Even said regressing back to week four, but regressing is something that has to happen based off the 10 games oh. that he played. He's not going to okay, throw 20 touchdowns and to, one interception, again, again, Kyle. I don't need him to play at that sick level, but he's going to have moments that he plays at that sick level. I'm saying that he played at, at the last 10 games, do look like a Hall of Fame quarterback, like based off the numbers and based off his swag, based off everything that he was doing, the intangibles that he was throw, showing, the way he was throwing the ball. He looked like a future Hall of Famer. What I'm saying is if he can bottle that up and just look like a, a all-pro quarterback, We'll be okay, Ben. I don't need him to be spectacular week in, week out. I need him to be a very good, solidified, starting NFL quarterback, and that's what he has displayed that he can do, Ben. That's I, all. That's what it takes. He he may not be Patrick Mahomes, but the kid's going to be a top-five quarterback so, very soon. So what was the most important thing in the Super Bowl last year for both the teams to keep them in the game? Defense. Where do you see the faith that you need in order for Jordan Love and this defense to actually win a Super Bowl? You know what? I, I got you. I got you. I know you got me, but I, like, just give me, give me your, give me your, uh, your, I don't know, cliff notes real quick as to why you believe that the defense that doesn't even have a couple starters filled out right, so, are ready to go. So we got a guy named Home Slice Homer. We love Homer, right? And he's talked about the defense. You know, the defense isn't as bad. The defense isn't as bad. Yes, the defense isn't as bad. Homer is right. And sometimes, many times, you have to get rid of the leader in order to have everybody else get better. And I truly believe when you look at the Green Bay Packers, Steve, you go game by game, and we watched a lot of those games. We know we don't I watched touch. every single one of them. Matter of fact, there was a poll that we had, and you guys said you rather – no, I said, did I say defense? You said Jordan Love, I, I, regardless of whatever it was. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You, you are on full my frat is in town <sighs> brain energy right now. Take a breath, because I uh, if you want to re-legislate a poll, I don't what was it? I, I don't want to re-legislate a poll. Oh, I because it goes something. against your argument. It may. It may. I might have said something a couple of years ago. I mean, a couple of months ago. Oh, okay, sounds sure. about but, right. But but what I want what I want you to understand is this: is that this defense at the end of the day is not as bad as what people say it is. It has some bad moments. I say that. But when you look at the overall defense, you look at and remember back to some of those games, especially those early games that I love Mr. Jordan Love, but Jordan Love had an opportunity to win some of these games, and it wasn't like the score was 30 to something. The Green Bay Packers defense going through, I think, the first 12 weeks, the Green Bay Packers defense only allowed more than like 26 points once. The Green Bay Packers defense isn't as bad as you say they are. All right, Mr. Uh Joe Barry is uh No, Joe Barry was the problem. All right. Joe Barry was the problem. Now you're going to use it. That's why Joe B got fired. Rob chimes in. You know the Milwaukee River stretches beyond Sockville? Okay, no. This is what I mean. Why? <laughs> why? <laughs> why? And I said the Milwaukee River in downtown. Why? why? That's how I'm talking about why. From 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 Water Street to, to MLK. That's, that's it? That's it. That's so now you're it. stopping a river. No, that's the, the why. We're talking about with at that point. That's the, that's the if. That's the if. That's it. It's wild. Rip and Rona... Uh, why can't Love just keep getting better? He's Thank done you. nothing to show he's going to regress. All right, you know what? 40 touchdowns, two interception season. Put him down as MVP. Come on. Go to Pato Sportsbook. I'm fine if you believe that, but I need 17 full games of Jordan Love, not just the 10 games. It's been wonderful. He's been amazing, but we need to see a full season because we just talked about how we saw a full season of a Jalen Hurts take the Philly, uh, Philadelphia Eagles to the Super Bowl and regress back. Because guess what? Did anyone think that he was going to regress back 
No, because everything trended that way. And if you just think everything's going to be ro peaches and roses, that's not how the NFL works. Everyone's a professional, and it's a business. That's how Kyle, the Green Bay Packers work. Man. No, it's not. No. Because they haven't been in the Super Bowl oh, in 14 but years, said, but, but dude. they've still been competitive for 14 years. We had Is that good enough for you? No, it's not good enough. Then, then, then you can't we, use that as an argument. We've been in the conversation, and for us to move on from Aaron Rodgers and continue to be in the conversation, Ben, that speaks volumes about what this organization has has built and what they are continuing to build. Trying to build more in Title Town and build a, a an area for the NFL draft. They're not worried about building a stronger defense and free agency. They're just going to do it through the draft. So they better protect their QB1 because that's all you are banking on with that river that's as wide as my fingers, uh, like an inch apart. Yep, not too far apart. But, you know, you're talking about banking on certain things and trusting certain things. The Green Bay Packers, just like me, we both trust in American Family Insurance. So just like a great team needs great protection, American Family Insurance knows your family needs it too. That's why they make life better by protecting your dreams with outstanding home and auto policies. I'm telling you this right now. If you want to bundle it, you can definitely do that with American Family Insurance. Call them today and for you to get a new quote. Protect the things you love. Protect the things that are most important to you. American Family Insurance, they're locally here in Wisconsin, and they want to support you. So insure carefully, dream fearlessly, American Family Insurance. We got a guest on the other side, right, Chris? We do indeed. It's a surprise guest who's going to get some Packers, potentially, to a concert in Green Bay. He is playing before Luke Combs tomorrow at AmFam Field. Tonight he's in Green Bay. Colby Acuff? Help me, yep, Aaron. Kobe Acuff, yeah. That's what I thought. Joins us next on Kyle Bruston Norman. This is Kyle Bruston Norman. Giannis does look like a longer, you know, he beats on his body, like kind of plays so rough. You wonder about. Shut up, Max. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I, I'm not letting that one. Pass. Yeah. I just realized beats on his body. Like, I meant like physical. Man. I don't know what y'all talking Physi about. Physicality oh, down oh, come there. On, Kyle. No, you guys are, I don't know what it is, but I'm sure your minds are in a gutter. Grow up. On ESPN Wisconsin and WisconsinOnDemand.com. Since J&K Security Solutions opened in 1987, our attention to detail and customer service have been our strongest assets. I'm President Jeffrey Beckman. We'll always do our best to find the most efficient and cost-effective solution to every job we tackle. Whether it's security for your home or business, installing video surveillance, or being able to control your garage doors from your phone, we can help you feel empowered with simple and user-friendly technology. Let's work together to secure your home or business. JKSecurity.com Beautify your entertainment space with Pella Windows and Doors of Wisconsin. Hi, this is Gina Della from Pella. Turn your ordinary space into something extraordinary with brand new Pella Windows. Plus, getting the perfect windows and doors for your home has never been easier. Right now, get 0% interest for up to 36 months, or no down payment, no interest, and no payments for up to 18 months if you book before April 30th. Take ownership of your living space and make it a place worth living with Pella Windows and Doors of Wisconsin. Ben Brust here to tell you about the Princeton Club. I joined the Princeton Club because I was looking for a place I could invest in my health, and the environment and the community I have felt has made it so easy for me to incorporate it into my everyday life. It doesn't matter where you're at in your fitness journey because they have something to offer everyone. It also goes beyond fitness. From the moment you walk in the club to the moment you walk out, there is a togetherness felt throughout the members and staff that keeps you going for your better tomorrow. Don't wait any longer and get started on your fitness journey today at PrincetonClub.net. That's PrincetonClub.net. Hey, it's Alex Strofe. Stay in the know on area high school sports and follow ESPN Madison on Twitter for Prep Mania on Deck, each week's preview of the top games and events. Prep Mania on Deck is brought to you by Zimbraconda, a proud supporter of high school sports and local communities. Hey, Drew Scott here, and I'm Jonathan Scott, reminding you that life's better with a home policy from American Family Insurance. They can help you get just the right protection at just the right price and help you save when you bundle home and auto. Kind of like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. It'll be just right for you. We love a custom build. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully. Dream fearlessly. Get a quote and find an agent at AmFam.com. Products not available in every state. Visit AmFam.com to learn how discounts may apply to you. American Family Mutual Insurance Company, S.I. and its operating company, 6000 American Parkway, Madison, Wisconsin. Stoughton Health, in collaboration with patient and family advisors, seeks to advance the health care experience at Stoughton Health by providing a forum for past patients and families to provide feedback on a variety of healthcare and other related topics. 
Advisors offer constructive feedback on their personal journey at Stoughton Health, helping to elevate the patient experience and increase satisfaction. Interested? Please call Amy at 608-873-2308. Since 1956, Holman Lindsay Paints has been making paint in Wisconsin for Wisconsin. Because of their commitment to making great paint for Wisconsinites, Holman Lindsay has grown over the years to 26 locations in this great state. Headquarters in Sun Prairie with a state-of-the-art facility, Holman Lindsay has the paints you need to make your job better. From do-it-yourself to professional, Holman Lindsay has paint for everyone. Visit one of their local locations today in Madison, Sun Prairie, Middleton, and Janesville. Why are interscholastic sports called the last classroom of the day? Because they teach students important life lessons like teamwork, accountability, and perseverance. Encourage your student to participate in the last classroom of the day. Interscholastic Sports in Wisconsin. As you're putting your spring calendar together, we'd love to have you join us Saturday, May 18th for Marco Siki's sixth annual Casting for Kids Fishing Tournament to support the American Family Children's Hospital, UW Carbone Cancer Center. We're on the Madison Chain of Lakes early, then back at the Alliant Energy Center for 2.30 happy hour, dinner, and live and silent auctions with cool autographed hockey items, guided tours, and a brand new fishing boat. There's even more on our website, castingforkids.org. Help us help the kids, castingforkids.org. This is Kyle, Brust, and Nortman, sponsored by Bud Light on ESPN Wisconsin and Wisconsin On Demand. I woke up this morning with a pounding in my head. I got 35. Kyle Bruss Norton, no Norton, and I'm Ben Bruss alongside Kyle Wallace, Chris Larson running the show. 800 990 3776. Or you can join the show and see our beautiful faces on YouTube at ESPN Milwaukee and at ESPN Madison. But we are now excited to be joined by Colby Acuff. Now, Colby. Welcome into Kyle Bruss Nortman. You've had quite the day today. <laughs> yes, I have. I saw that you are a Packer fan, but you are a fourth generation from Idaho. Is that is that true? Yeah, it's correct. Yeah, I mean, I, I am a huge Packers fan, but also I'm from northern Idaho where we don't really have a team. The closest would be Seattle, and uh, I've just I've latched on to the Packers ever since I was a kid. What was the player or the moment that made you want to be a Packer fan? Uh, I was probably five years old, and it was we were stuck in a blizzard at home in northern Idaho, but we could get the game on, and I watched Favre play in Lambeau, and it was snowing there, and I was like, oh, my God, this is – like I thought he was playing down the street. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's fantastic. That's fantastic. Now, Ben asked you, what was the moment that you knew you wanted to be a Packer fan? But I want to know, when was the moment that you knew you love Jordan Love? <laughs> it starts early. With love. I loved him early. I did. I, I loved him early. Um, especially, like, in the beginning of uh, – when they when he got some touches on the ball a couple times, I'd say, I don't know, maybe two years ago or a year ago. Okay. When uh, Yeah, like, when they played him, I thought he looked really good, really strong, had a lot of potential. And I knew – I mean, same way that – you know, Rodgers kind of came up with Favre in front of him. I mean, Packers are notorious for, you know, forging and making really great quarterbacks. Yeah, as we're talking with Colby Acuff, uh, who will be performing tonight in Green Bay, uh, tell us about how this all came about. I see you tweeting with A.J. Dillon. Have you gathered Green Bay Packer players to come watch the performance tonight? Well, I just had made a tweet subtly. Honestly, while I was, we were driving on our way, we were coming from St. Louis, and I just said something along the lines of like, man, I would die if a Packers player came to the show tonight. And then, you know, people started tagging, and uh, Dylan got on real early. Um, and so it sounds like maybe some of the guys might come out tonight. I'm not sure, but obviously we'd love to have them. Um, but yeah. And so you are opening for Luke Combs tomorrow at American Family Field. Um, so this is, is this a tune-up for you? Because if the Packers, uh, if the Packers players show up, then uh, it could get a little crazy for you. And I, I need you to have that voice tomorrow. I don't don't want you pulling something where you can't can't perform tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we should be fine because tomorrow we're uh, playing the first slot out of five, and we only got to play for about twenty minutes. 
Um, but it's never a bad time to play a stadium, and it's definitely never a bad time to have a show in Green Bay with players there. So speaking of this show with players from Green Bay, I want to talk a little bit about your discography. Have you had, have you made a Green Bay Packers song? And if you haven't, if the Packers go to the Super Bowl, you know you got to make one, right? Yeah, no, I mean, I definitely, I've made, uh, I mean, I mentioned the Packers in that song. It's called Dying Breed. Uh, it's one of the, it's one of the songs that kind of put us on the map. Um, but yeah, there's a line in there about how on Sundays I'll watch the Packers play. Um, I'll be cheering on Green Bay, I guess, is the line. But so I've, I've definitely built some fan base, even sharing uh, just like the football team um, over the last few years from that record. So it's my first time playing in Green Bay, though. We've never had an opportunity here. So if it was our very first time playing in Green Bay and we got some players out, it would be absolutely phenomenal. Have you ever been to a game at Lambeau before? I have not. I haven't had the opportunity. Ooh, we may have to, but we I also to work about 270 days out of the year. I mean, that's the <laughs> grind now, shine later mentality you got to have. Uh, um, and for those who are uh, coming to AmFam Field again, we're talking with Colby Acuff here, who is performing the first set of five uh, leading up to Luke Combs tomorrow at American Family Field. An Idaho native who is a Packer fan fell in love because there was snow on the ground. You love to see it. Oh, that's very that's very much uh, in line with how Wisconsin fans are with the Green Bay Packers fans. But next season, big season, what do you think the potential is for the Green Bay Packers? Where do you expect the Packers to be come next February? I mean, I don't see why saying going to the Super Bowl or winning a Super Bowl is out of the question. Mm. I mean, they're a young team, and but I mean, look at where we went this year as a young team. I mean... I think there's a lot of potential there. I think there's a lot of potential for a championship team. If not this year, then I definitely think there's one in the cards. So if they do win a Super Bowl, can you confirm that you will be able to drop that uh, Green Bay Packers song from Colby Acuff right here on Kyle Bruss and Norman? Yeah, I'll write you one. Okay. Now, when you write the Packers song, I know we not Packers, but we love talking Packers. You got to say something about, and my boys on KB, and you know they love the Packers. <laughs> that was solid, Kyle. I didn't know you have a little country twang in you. Wait a minute. You need yeah, to, man. You need, pipes. Oh, my God. Wait a minute now. Don't get me started. You want, I can open for you tonight if you need me to. I can drive right up to Green Bay if you need somebody to open. I can do some cover now. I can be the Black Darius Rucker. All right, he's already black, though. <laughs> I would just be the young Darius Rucker. <laughs> dreadheaded, uh, <laughs> dreadheaded Darius Rucker. No, 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 I don't know. I don't know too many country singers. <laughs> hey, you're doing great. Thank you, son. <laughs> uh, and for those uh, who don't know uh, about your music, uh, anything you want to promote while we got you here quickly? Yeah, no, I mean, I think just for me, um, my name is Colby Acuff. I write, it's not even necessarily country music. It just kind of falls in that vein because of how who I am, I guess, but... Uh, I just try to write honest music and try to give songs to people, and hopefully they can relate to them. That's pretty much all I've ever done, and hopefully that works. Before you go, were you into this Taylor Swift, Travis Kelsey thing? Or did you find it as annoying as the rest of America? Well, I'm a music fan, and I'm a football fan, and I like to keep them separate. That's all I'll say. All right, now, oh my God, Kobe, I love him. Uh, all right, man. Well, we appreciate you joining us. Have a great time. Uh, hopefully some Green Bay Packers show up, show up uh, to help you bring the vibes tonight in Green Bay and uh, enjoy your time at AmFam Field in Milwaukee tomorrow. Hey, beautiful. Thank you all so much for having me on. Right, go. That is Colby A. Cuff opening up for Luke Combs tomorrow at American Family Field. I'm t I'm, listen, Colby, I'm telling him right now, if the Packers win the Super Bowl, I can't wait. Ryan chimes in. Kyle said he'd be the black Darius I, I, Rucker. Yeah, I, I had to correct myself. Uh, oh, wow. that just knows Kyle country, country Wallace. Only, I don't know too many country singers. Uh, only, only when I know Morgan Wallen was throwing chairs off a of hotel, so I didn't want to mention him. You do like the song uh, that's catchy, though, like the last night. I do love that song. not going to lie. Do you like it still that he's uh, throwing chairs off of roofs? I have issues with him for other stuff of things that comes out of his mouth. That's fair. I don't have any issues with uh, doing this tonight, and that is Palermo's Pizza. So I have girlfriend plus brother fiance plus brother girlfriend. So six people in the household tonight. And you know what we decided? 
What is that? It's going to be so screaming good, baby. We're going to have screaming Sicilian pizza. We'll have a thin and crispy. We'll have an OG. We'll have a, a stuffed crust cheese. So we're going to have a, like a like a smorgasbord of Palermo's out there for the, all the family to enjoy because they have a different pizza for everyone, even just in the screaming Sicilian brands. Like, think about that. In the brand of screaming Sicilian itself, they have something for everyone. They also have Urban Pie, Connie's, uh, the uh, neighborhood pizza, breakfast pizzas, dessert pizzas. They have it all at Palermo's. Uh, this Boss Hog is my favorite. I know that we got one of my favorites we'll get to in a second for tonight because when I saw it, I was like, oh, we're going to have a good time because they have Supremus Maximus. They have the Ultimate Deluxe and the one that I just mentioned that we're going to have tonight, the Mambo Italiano. Mambo. Find your screaming pleasure as I will tonight. In your local grocer's freezer and taste what all the screaming is about. KBN Academy up next. This is Kyle Bruston Nortman, KBN. My offer, as we've come up with a KBN, thanks to JD and Fondy reutilizing Judy, who is still in my garage right now. Is she a big booty Judy or a uh, little, little flat flapjack bo booty Judy? She's got a little something to her. I'll say that. Yeah, she's got some Ju Judy, Judy the flapjack. Judy, Judy the blow up doll. She's got a little something to her. On ESPN Wisconsin and WisconsinOnDemand.com. You, ra, ra. Pella Windows and Doors of Wisconsin present your Badger Minute. Here's Alex Strofe. Varsity on Wisconsin On Demand is home to all the latest and best Badgers content on ESPN Wisconsin. Subscribe on Apple, Spotify, Wisconsin On Demand, and wherever you get your podcasts. Spring practices are well underway for the Wisconsin football team. Head coach Luke Fickle met with the media earlier this week and talked about the importance of the spring practices. I think this is a really important time for us. It's not as maybe, you know, hooting and hollering as it is of, of a true, true work day. But these guys got to come out here. We got we to gotta work. We got to compete. The spring session for the football team consists of 15 practices and several open days, which involve meetings. Thursday marked the end of practice six, with the 15th and final practice happening on May 2nd. Get 0% interest for up to 36 months, or no down payment, no interest, and no payments for up to 18 months. Book before April 30th at PellaWI.com. Your first round pick is here. Unleash unbeatable deals at Metro Ford of Madison. Get into a 2024 Ford F-150 at 2.9% APR financing for 66 months. $16.41 per thousand borrowed. This deal available to qualify credit. Offers on the 2024 Ford Edge include 0% APR financing for 66 months. Before April hits the final round, score today at Metro Ford of Madison. Browse the inventory at MetroFordOfMadison.com. This update is sponsored by UW Credit Union. For every stage of life, UW Credit Union is here for every you. Fans, here's your Quick Trip to the Ballpark ticket offer. Spend $200 at participating Quick Trip locations and get a free Terrace Reserve ticket to a 2024 Brewers home game. Check brewers.com slash quick trip for more details. Join UW Credit Union at uwcu.org. Insured by NCUA. The Packers Tailgate Tour is coming to Sun Prairie on Friday, April 12th to help support Sunshine Place, a nonprofit community resources center dedicated to household stability in Sun Prairie and Eastern Dane County. Sunshine Place provides meals, clothing, and living supplies along with a wide array of social and community services to community members facing food insecurity and other hardships. Join the Packers Tailgate Tour in supporting Sunshine Place of Sun Prairie and Dane County. Visit sunshineplace.org to learn more. Ben Bruss here from Kyle Bruss and Nortman and tell you about the newest spike tea on the market, and that is hoop tea. And when I mean that it's the newest and best, it was born on the boardwalk of Ocean City, Maryland, and enjoyed now right here in Madison, Wisconsin. With flavors like an original spike tea, you have peach, you have mango, you have watermelon. Hoop tea will make you feeling great with whatever flavor fits your profile. Hoop tea. Enjoy the hoops on the screen and hoops in your hand. Hooptea.com. Must be 21 years or older to enjoy. Protect your dream home with American Family Insurance. And you can weather any storm. You'll also save up to 25% by bundling home, auto, and life. American Family Insurance. Get a quote. Find an agent at amfam.com. 
products not available in every state. Discounts may not apply to all coverages on an auto or home policy. Discounts do not apply to life insurance policies. Visit Amfem.com to learn how discounts may apply to you. American Family Mutual Insurance Company, S.I. and its operating companies, American Family Life Insurance Company, 6000 American Parkway, Madison, Wisconsin. As you're putting your spring calendar together, we'd love to have you join us Saturday, May 18th for Marco Siki's 6th Annual Casting for Kids Fishing Tournament to support the American Family Children's Hospital, UW Carbone Cancer Center. We're on the Madison Chain of Lakes early, then back at the Alliant Energy Center for 2.30 happy hour, dinner, and live and silent auctions with cool autographed hockey items, guided tours, and a brand new fishing boat. There's even more on our website, castingforkids.org. Help us help the kids, castingforkids.org. You're listening to Kyle Brust and Nortman on ESPN Wisconsin and wisconsinondemand.com. Okay, now when you write the Packers song, I know we not Packers, but we love talking Packers. You got to say something about, and my boys on KB, and you know they love the Packers. <laughs> that was solid, Kyle. I don't know if you have a little country twang in wait you. Wait a minute, you yeah, need somebody? Man. Look you need, pipes, my oh, God. Wait a minute now, don't get me started. You are, I can open for you tonight if you need me to. I can drive right up to Green Bay <laughs> if you need somebody to open. I can do some cover now. I can be the Black Darius Rucker. Kyle Wallace claiming he could be the Black Darius Rucker. One problem, he's Black a, Darius Rucker already exists. He's a brother. Hootie is a brother. <laughs> Hootie is a brother. You know, our, our players mess up too. Players mess up too. I, my, my it's a great team. line. Yeah. I, I, I could be your Black Darius Rucker thank, just all like excited. Thank you for helping me around our guest who doesn't know me, so not make him look ass too. But you could be the dread-headed Darius Rucker. Yeah, I'll be the dread-headed Darius Rucker. I tried my best I, to I, save you in that spot. I appreciate it. I do love Wagon Wheel that he remade. <laughs> great song. Great song. I've been I've been hollering Heading down years. south to the land of the pines. Travel my way Oof. to North Carolina. Oof. Stared up the road and pray to God I, I see, see headlights. All right, we're not karaoke You made me sound better, though. I'll I'm give a, you that. I'm going to get going. What we got next? Uh, Black Darius Rucker, Kyle Wallace, uh, just white Ben Brust uh, right here. Oh, you can be the right white Luke Combs. <laughs> no, I got I white can, Rascal Flats. <laughs> that's a group. Oh, you, you be you be flat <laughs> fourth one. Did you think it was a person? No, oh, Rascal Flats a group. Uh, what's his name? Uh, you can be part of the uh, Zach Brown band. You can be part of them. You be the fourth one of them. So now I'm not good enough to be a. Per- you're so good enough you're to be no, Darius you're Rucker. No so I'm, I have to be in a group. You are no solo. I've heard you sing. Oh, you are man. no solo. You need to be in the back. And we know Brad Nortman, who's not with us today, would just be security. Uh, that's. I wouldn't want him as that. <laughs> I want him playing. Nowhere finance. near if financials. If he, I don't want him playing security. <laughs> what do you mean secu- Who he gonna secure from? What? Brad is too dang nice. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> All right, listen up. I told you one time. Do my you come, you want to come in and meet everybody? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Like, what true. is all these people doing? I here? got some shredded chicken with some sugar free sauce you can have. <laughs> I made it on Sunday, fellas. Ben Bruss, Kyle Wallace, Kyle Bruss and Norman, no Norman, Chris Larson running the show. 800 990 Thanks to Kobe Acuff, who, uh, Acuff, who Acuff, is. Yep. Opening for Luke Combs tomorrow at American Family Field. He's a big Packer fan, and he's playing in Green Bay tonight. So if you're in the area, go check him out. Supporter of fellow Packer fan there. Um, let's get to the KBN Academy. In radio, our goal is pretty simple. Uh, just so you know, you really suck. Have an A show or an F show. Hey, I'll decide who sucks around here. The same goes for topics in this next segment. This is the KBN Academy. Those that can't do, teach. It is the KBN Academy where we hand out grades, A's or F's, to the answers to these questions. We can't give a B, a C, or D. We gotta give A's or F's, tough grades. Go, Chris. All right, let's kick it off here in the KBN Academy with this. Tom Brady appeared in a new podcast called Deep Cut. The former NFL MVP quarterback cracked up or cracked open the door to a possible return from retirement, saying, quote unquote, I'm not opposed to it. ARF, you would take a 46-year-old Tom Brady over half the starting quarterbacks in the NFL right now. Oh, wow. That's tough. It is tough. Half? I would say the bottom 10. Yeah, he's been gone for one season. Feels like longer, but I think it's just one. Yeah, actually, I would take him. His last season, he wasn't bad. He was still good. Oh, he was still good. Wow. I think he... 
Did he have the most passing yards or was the most passing attempts his last season? Don't know, but he was still good. I would take him over half. Listen, the bottom half of some of these quarterbacks are trash. Tom Brady was a successful quarterback even when he left the football universe. I mean, it'd be interesting because there's going to be a lot of QBs drafted, but it wouldn't be a bad thing to take a Tom Brady. Like, would you, like if you're the, if you're the for the Minnesota Vikings, do you want Sam Darnold teaching a rookie that you might draft, or do you want Tom Brady? You want Tom Brady. If you're if you're a football team that is a quarterback away, would you still take Tom Brady? Uh, I would definitely give it a shot. The New York Giants. I mean, Daniel Jones will be back, but I just think like that Tommy DeVito beat the Green Bay Packers no, like, still if, makes if, me... No, but here's the thing. If they had an option, they had some quarterback issues, and say the Giants last year were doing well, and they said, hey... Tom, we want to sign you just like Joe. If Joe Flacco can do it, Tom Brady can do it. That's a good point. Because Joe was like out, out. He was a couch, chilling. Just like you stuff. and I on Sundays. He, he, yeah, and he got up and he he performed well in the NFL game. And we know TB12 has supplements and powders that he's, I'm sure, drinking that probably have some genetic rehabilitation in it. So he's probably de-aging to, to make his comeback. Uh, his surgeon probably can help him with something with that. What do you mean, his surgeon? Dude, he, he, has, his he hasn't done. He has not done plastic surgery. Are you kidding me? No way. He's look done. at Tom Brady's face, Kyle. Chris. I, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm about to say. I'm about to say. You. I'm, I'll get the Michigan man to tell you. This man's face is as plastic as a Ken doll. <laughs> More plastic. Yeah. Uh, what, what's next, Chris? All right, let's move on here to the KBN Academy. A Fort Collins public library copy of Ivanhoe was thought to be long gone until an unnamed woman returned the book over 100 years past its return date. According to records, the book was checked out in 1919. The woman's brother had found the book among their mother's belongings in Kansas. At two cents per day fine, the woman's mother would have to owe a $760 or $14,000 today adjusting for inflation. A or F, you would return the book if you were in the same situation. F, I'm not returning it. I'm keeping it. It's a keepsake now. I mean, that book could maybe sell for something. What would I return it for? Ain't nobody. I don't even know what Ivanhoe is. What is Ivanhoe? I don't even know what that book is. I'm keeping that book and passing it down. It's now a family heirloom. Forget the forget the library. They ain't getting their book back. They didn't even know it was missing. Yes, like this is... Apparently it's a, a book about a, a romance book, I guess, about a knight. Uh, something about a knight back in his... Putting back, knight back in the his audacity of the library. <laughs> the audacity. That the book in value is worth fourteen thousand dollars. Like, <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> the book was probably a dollar when it was created. If it was if only that. checked out like twice before it was actually checked out and lost. Then, um, or maybe I, the woman was a thief and she stole it. You ever think about that? No, I haven't. I'm not a conspiracy theorist like you. A conspiracy? Who steals? A, who who takes a book for that long and never takes it back? Lost. Let me not speak on the dead like that. I'm assuming this woman is long gone. Uh, yes, yeah, that's why we were looking through her belongings. Yes. Did you follow? I, I, I heard Chris say that. Why are they looking through her belongings 100 years later? No, they're looking through her belongings today. They found the book, which was checked out okay, 100 but, years ago. But it was checked out 100 years ago. How long does this lady live for? If she checked out a book 100 years Aren't ago. Aren't they supposed to send notices of return? Like, <laughs> hey, this book has been checked out for over two weeks. She's like, a thief. <laughs> She's a thief. She got sticker. I thought you weren't going to speak on the dead like that. Oh, um, you're right. Let me not do that. I, yeah, I don't need that energy. In my life. <laughs> well, it was 1919. I don't know if they had that technology back then. They'll say, hey, your book's been checked out for such and such a time. You know, what a time to talk about inflation, huh? Inflation? The, the library wants to charge this rental for $14,000? Inflation is real. And you know who can help with that? Gina Della from Pella. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Zero percent interest. I just want you to... I want you to listen. 0% interest for 36 months or no down payment. Look, I will not name names, but there's someone sitting next to me in this studio that had said he charges his own mother interest on cash. Oh, wow. Come on now. Why you, why there's you interest everywhere. No interest here. 0% for up to 36 months. No interest, no payments for up to 18 months uh, if you book before April 30th. It's just, it's amazing. No, look at this. You, you, hear, you hear Kyle? This is what you should be doing with your mother. 0% interest forever, but Gina Dell is doing for up to 36 months. Or no down payment, no interest, and no payments for up to 18 months if you book before April 30th. So take ownership of your living space. Make it look sleek. Make it look amazing. I'm thinking about, you know, 
how I can redo the home. I got some windows that like I have to like un unlatch, lift, and then I gotta also like lift the screen up to just get air in. That sounds stupid. So you know what I'm gonna do? Zero percent interest for 36 months with Gina Della from Pella. Gina Della from Pella. We'll be back in two minutes. Kyle Brustin Norman across ESP Wisconsin. When you're in the right place at the right time, things get done. The important things, like knowing what you need and how it all works. Talking truck. Fixing it right the first time. At Zimbrick Chevrolet, our people get it done right and now. That's how you know you're in the right place at the right time. And you'll never overpay at Zimbrick Chevrolet. Hi, this is Dave Kane. You're listening to Madison's Home of the Box, a good karma brand radio station. 100.5 ESPN WTLX Monona, Madison. Broadcasting live from the Everlight Solar Studio, this is your Metro Kia of Madison Sports Center. Good afternoon, Madison. My name is Riley Yauk, and this is your Sports Center update brought to you by a banner year celebrating the 10 year anniversary of the first of the back to back final four appearances for Wisconsin men's basketball. All four episode podcasts are now available. Subscribe to the varsity podcast on Apple, Spotify, and Wisconsin on demand. Starting in Green Bay is this morning. Packers beat reporter Rob Domofsky appeared on Wildey and Tausch, breaking the news that some within the organization are very high on Zach Tom. I was told within the organization they think they, they think Zach Tom is a really good, is a Pro Bowl right tackle, an all-pro guard, and a potential Hall of Fame center. Potential Hall of Fame center, let's go. Out in Baltimore, the Brewers have a particularly interesting matchup against the Orioles as it'll be a battle between baseball's top two prospects. Both are 20 years old and both are named Jackson. Reese Hoskins is going to be mic'd up for this game as well, and Freddie Peralta is on the bump for the crew. First pitch scheduled for 6.05. And finally, the Bucks will be in OKC for their penultimate regular season game. Tip-off seven pregame coverage starts at 6.30. Metro Kia of Madison, Madison's trusted Kia dealer. Stop into Metro Kia on the east side of Madison or MetroKiaOfMadison.com. Broadcasting live from the Everlight Solar Studios in Madison, this is Kyle Brust and Nordman, KBN. Sponsored by Bud Light on ESPN Wisconsin, ESPN Madison on YouTube, and WisconsinOnDemand.com. Tiger Woods making the cut at the Masters. Longest streak ever in Augusta. Making history even as he gets older. He grimaces when he puts the T in. Yeah, because his leg is, like, got mutilated in an accident. He's been through a journey. He has been. It all started when his wife, man, she <laughs> swung at him with a club. Don't make that face at me. You, We all know what happened. Tiger was... Doing things on the side, wasn't yeah. being faithful, and some woman called him at night, or she listened to the voicemail, and Tiger was running out the house, and she threw the club at the back of his truck, and he drove off the side of the road. Y'all, I don't know why we're ignoring that. That is that she calls for the greatest golfer of all time to go downhill. Elon, <laughs> you're blaming Elon. It is Elon's fault. You go, you can't handle things like that. You Tiger's never, actions had nothing to do with I it. Did, listen. It, Every action has a reaction. That reaction was uncalled for. You don't throw a golf club. The, the thing that made him great and made her rich is the thing that tore him down. It's crazy. He ain't been the same since. He was on drugs, drug, medication, almost drove off a cliff. Remember? Yes, I remember. Yeah, I remember. Boy, I remember him being asleep in a car. Yeah, my boy. Yeah, man, my boy Tiger ain't been the same since. I I don't like Elon. <laughs> No, no responsibility by Tiger. Listen, uh, listen, no, no. <laughs> she could have simply yelled at him and told him to leave the house. She didn't need to do all that. Now He's, look at him. So now I know who Kyle will defend to the death. Uh, his fraternity brothers. Yep. Brett Favre. Yep. Tiger Woods. Uh -huh. Don't say OJ because I'm not defending OJ. And, and the Green Bay Packers. Green Bay Packers. I said don't say OJ because I don't defend that. Uh, what else we got? Anyone else I'm missing? Uh, you might want to put your family and your girl in there. Oh, oh no. Oh, yeah. Because right now, you didn't put them on the I, list. Yeah, my girl, my family. I love all of them. 
Uh, Jordan I'm, Love getting close. That was just an aside. You're like, yeah, Come I got on, that's family. That's a given. That's a given. I ain't, ain't got to say that. It's already known and explained. I ain't got to do all that. Take of the day. It's Elon's fault. Truth. I mean, 800-990-3776. No <laughs> we debate. are not driving that <laughs> question <laughs> through the show right else now. at fault other than Elon. She ruined <laughs> Tiger's career. Oh, my gosh. Um, Kyle just has no care what his sports heroes do. And, you know, you may claim that you don't want to you have OJ a part of that, but if you grew up... Yeah, he was not my sports look, hero. I was, I I was not alive. I, I guarantee alive. if Kyle grew up and OJ uh, was in his prime when Kyle was growing up, he'd be here right now with me defending OJ. We'll never know. Absolutely not. No, we know. We know. Put, no, 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 don't put Ron that the key. Ben, jump. Kyle does not care what his sports heroes do. Listen, <laughs> listen, don't get me started. I'm just going to say I, I, I'm loyal. I'm loyal for you, too. If you, if you got in trouble, Ben, I would stand right beside Hell you. Hell no. I would stand right beside you. Hell no. I would. Yeah, right. But just don't. Let's not try it. Let's not test I'm it. I'm not going to test it, but what I do want to test is uh, having a conversation with KBN Nation here about uh, the Masters and watching sports on television because – Get the cool button ready, and you can call him, or the Yadouche that Kyle can call me. Um, in 2019, I just want to say that I missed out on being at one of the most major sporting events out of all time. What was cool? That? What happened in 2019? Super I was Bowl. at the Masters in the Thursday and Friday, and I oh. had a ticket for Sunday, and I oh. decided to fly home on Saturday. What? What? what yeah, douche. What, what? Time out. You got tickets to the. I don't even know how you get tickets to the Masters, but you had tickets to the Masters, and you had a ticket to Sunday, yes. Championship Day. Tiger Who won that year. Tiger Woods. Come on now. So Tiger and Tiger was up going into the last round, wasn't he? Or did he? Or something he was happened, in. The, he was in the mix, and then he ended and, up taking off late. You know, uh, right? or he, b- a bunch of people on hole twelve in Amen Corner hit the ball in the water. Tiger hit the green, got a par, walked away. Kept on trending upwards. You are you you are a fool for doing that. Do you regret it to this day the fact that you missed out on what could be Tiger's I, last ever Masters Green Jacket Championship? I do, but I also don't. It, like what? I do from the standpoint of it, it would have been cool to say I was there, but I'm not gonna lie. Being at a golf course sucks. It sucks. That's You're true. like a herd of freaking zoo animals running to. And you can't run at Augusta. Running to try and get to a uh, a spot where you can see. Barely anything. Moving your head on your tippy toes, trying to get a view of a little white ball into a hole you can't see if you're chasing around one person the entire day. There is no good way to watch golf in person unless you are there in a box on one hole, which is in Augusta, but at the AmFam Championship, we've been lucky enough to have that at a, at, at a University of Ridge golf course. Mm-hmm. But like even that, like you're just at one hole. Watching golf on in person is the absolute worst. So I ask you all, 800-990-3776, based off the fact that I missed um, Tiger Woods in person when I was there, what sport would you rather watch on TV? What sport would I rather watch on TV? Well, here's the thing. I'm not even watching golf like that on TV, so we can take that off. I I mean, but, like, would you rather watch golf or go to golf? Uh... I'm watching I, golf I, I, on TV I'd rather, I'd rather every watch, day and twice on Sunday. I'd rather watch it on TV because I've, I've been to a golf event as well. And it's it was, horrible. It, it was it, it, if you get a position up front at, by the tee and you're missing what's going on at by the hole. So it's like it, I was like, this is this is. Speaking of golf, real quick, Rich Pecker and Spread Eagle, real place. Not joking. Kyle is not wrong. Look at the downfall mentally since. Told he's you. Talking about Tiger Woods. Told, he's talking about he's an addict, and we know he's an addict. Oh, come on now. We ain't need to know all that. You and Rich Pecker are on the same page there. Um, I, I I have to – I like watching baseball on TV. I'm a weirdo. Um, I, 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 baseball is I a actually, background thing. I think I'd actually prefer to watch baseball on TV than go to the game. No, no. I prefer to go to baseball games. Baseball games are – to me, it's a little bit more lit because there's an energy around the stadium, right? You, especially here in Wisconsin at AmFam Field, you're doing the tailgating thing. You're usually going with a group of people, so you're celebrating. See, but that's the you thing inside, is that I don't actually end around. up watching any of the game. It's an experience. That's what you're there for. But experience. we're talking about watch. Play. what sport would you rather watch on TV or go to? And you're saying you'd rather go to a game to not even watch it, just to walk around and say hi to everyone that Kyle Wallace knows in and, the area. And get the, and get the energy from it. But personally, man, I, honestly, I would r- much rather... I hate to say it. I'd much rather watch football 
from at home than in the stadium. No, that's an easy answer yeah, for me. Cause I would watch football at home over going to a football game in person all the time. There is this second quarter lull, like towards the mid-late second quarter, where all the energy of the first quarter and the game just seems to slow down a little bit. TV expect- timeouts, yeah, halftime. You're just like you're just like, what is going? College on here? football games take forever too. And until they get some some more stuff for you to sip on at Camp Randall, it's. Oof. It does take a while, but I will, I will have to say football, I'd much rather watch it from home because going to a football game can be too much. And we've talked about this before in the fall, is that I love Packers Nation, I love Packers fans, but season ticket holders, they are not hyped up. We had that with the Wisconsin Badgers as well. We need some energy in those stadiums. 800-990-3776. JB in the 608 agrees with me. Golf is great on TV. Horrible in person. Jake chimes in. And I like this if you do want to experience it. Got to go to golf on Saturday. Enjoy the food and drinks and hopefully a good day of nice weather. Then watch on TV on Sunday. No, when at the Masters you don't do that. Especially, you know, do you go to the Masters a lot or like was this like? Oh. I think I think he's just saying in general if there's like like there's been a bunch of PGA events at Whistling Straits yeah, here was at in the Wisconsin. Cup. I know, and he's saying go for the experience on a Saturday and then Sunday if you have the means to not like just tr- if it's in your local area, right? Like I'm not traveling to the Masters every single week to, or every single year to watch it. How did you did somebody hook you up with tickets to go to that or? Uh, one of my family friends has a great hookup. Cool, I know. Cool, cool, cool. Family friend, like cool. second dad, like he's. Oh wow! Yeah, I got very lucky. Wow, very very lucky. Shout yeah. out, shout out, Chuck Chuck Johnson. Very very privileged that you had over there. You call me privileged? Oh, uh, yeah, I, I've come to find out you you were pretty privileged. Nothing wrong with call it. Call me uppity. Yeah, I have nothing wrong with it. What's a little pinky up energy? Good, good Marquette for energy. Yeah, good for you. I'm glad that you uh you had the better life. Oh, shut up. No, I'm glad you didn't have to struggle. You went to Whitefish Bay. I'm glad you didn't have to. Do you know what? Uh, did you guys take the yellow bus where you're from or no? I walked to school. Oh, wow. Must be nice. Well, what? That actually builds more character. No, it does not. Waking Walking up, through the snow? Waking up as a as a four-year-old, five-year-old, six-year-old having to get on the bus early in the morning. I was on the bus at like six o'clock in the morning, which meant I had to be up before that. I had to drive across the city just to get to Whitefish Bay. To go to school. Ah, that builds character. When you're tired as gall can be. Meanwhile, the rest of your kids woke up. Who you, Your classmates woke up an hour later, and they walked to school. Woe is Kyle, show. Woe is Kyle. Uh, Dave from Aaron. Football in person all depends on the seat location. See, I, I still disagree. It just... The way no. the football's played, too, it's the, the play, the 40-second play clock. Like, if it, it, if it was hurry up, and I don't expect it to be the whole time, but if football was hurry up the whole time... I would be for that, you know, but I'd rather watch on TV. You know what's better at home as well? Soccer. I would, I've been to a soccer match before. I've been to multiple. Really? I, yeah, I, so, because soccer has moments where I just get bored too, where you're just kind of there, right? Because they, you know, they you don't, a lot you of don't know the beautiful game. No, I mean, the, the build up and then all of a sudden they still they lose, especially watching American soccer. You know what Not I'd love to know fun. from Homer um, is tennis. Because I've, yes. I've never watched tennis in person, I want to. but I enjoy tennis on TV, like for like the big the U.S. openings in like Labor Day weekend. Yes, obviously you have Wimbledon. I wonder how awesome that would be. No, that was on my mind as well. I would want to go see a tennis like I don't like not just any old match. You got to see a good player play, right? I'm not just seeing anybody I don't know. I'm seeing a good player play early on or getting close to the semifinals or the finals or the quarterfinals. That is when it gets more intense and more exciting. There's so much action in tennis. Every single what they call play every point every single point. There's a lot of action. <laughs> Why is the scoring fifteen thirty and then forty? It's tradition. So you, you you don't question anything. It's just I, tradition. I, when I was in elementary school, when like why isn't scoring. it like if you get a like if one one to one to nothing, one to one, two to one, three to one, game four to one, and if it's three to three, it's tie. And then if you like, they call it deuce. And then if it's deuce, it's um, advantage left or right. Like uh, it's just stupid. It's just what they did. It's, I, I love it. I think 15, they, 30, 40, love, yeah, deuce, I, I, I love add it. on, Doesn't add it, in. Yeah, douche. It, it, ma- it makes the game seem more prestigious, right? That's what it gives it. It gives it more like it's on a higher pedestal. That's what it was. I'm sure tennis players back in the day probably came from a little higher class like you. You know, the little Kyle had people. to take the bus uphill both ways. Poor Kyle. Uphill. I, I don't know if it was uphill or not. I was sleeping. Didn't walk, tell you that much. 
Uh, 800-990-3776. What sport would you rather watch on TV? Because I can tell you what, golf is the absolute worst sport to watch in person. You cannot convince me otherwise. You can try. I'd love to hear from you. I'll pass on that. I, like I said, I went to a golf event and I was ready to go. I was hoping to see Michael Jordan. <laughs> I'm, de- I'm dead serious. Hoping to see Michael Jordan. That was it? Yeah. You went for Michael, not I went, for golf. I mean, I mean, and Tiger was there as well. I don't think I got close to Tiger. I still have photos and videos and all that. But, yeah, I mean, it, I went for golf to cheer on USA. U, USA was already doing well, and it was already uh, already well in grasp by the time that I got there. It was it was cool. But it was, meh. You know what's not meh? What is that? The Princeton Club. 24 hours a day. They are open for you 24-7, and there's no better in time to start investing in your health because once you find your routine, it's not going to leave you. They provide everything you need from weights to cardio to their workout classes, basketball courts. I've done personal training. The moment you walk in, you're going to know the place is for you. So just have the courage to go get the tour, and you will be like, oh, this place, it's clean. They have free childcare with the membership. What else do I need in my life? I don't need anything more. I have the best facility that continues to upgrade, and they always can take care of the community. So join the Prince Club for your better tomorrow. Just have the courage to go get the tour, and you will be on your way to your fitness journey and finding your better tomorrow. Kyle Brustin Ortman across ESPN Wisconsin. Kyle thinks the Packers D isn't as bad as we think it is. We'll explore next. You're listening to Kyle Bruston Nortman, KBN. And I'm sure he'll offer this opportunity again. Absolutely what are you going to sell? What are you going to what are you going to say to Ben Bruston? Like, you don't get your hand on my <laughs> goddamn face. <laughs> no. It's a no. I can say it in different languages. No, no, no. <laughs> Mitch or whatever it is. I don't know. Nine. 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 That's a firm way to say nine. no. Nine. 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 Next time we say nine. <laughs> nine. On ESPN Wisconsin and WisconsinOnDemand.com. There's a good chance if you watch sports, you're getting served information about hormone optimization. What does that even mean? Dr. Nestor Rodriguez at Carbon World Health can tell you exactly what hormone optimization means. He will take your blood work and let you know if it's right for you. If you're feeling sluggish, not losing weight like you used to, you're not gaining muscle like you used to, or you just don't feel like yourself in most aspects of your life, go see Dr. Nestor Rodriguez at Carbon World Health. In fact, sign up for the six-week experience so you can see everything that Carbon World Health has to offer, including hormone optimization. Learn more at CarbonWorldHealth.com. Hey, it's Ben Brust, and one of the best events of the year is the Barstool Open. Join us Saturday, April 13th at Whiskey Jacks from 10 a.m. to noon. Grab three of the best golfers or drinkers you know and put on your best costume for the one-of-a-kind mini golf bar crawl in downtown Madison. Enjoy $4 Bud Lights and $5 Neutrals. All proceeds from the event will benefit the Badger Honor Flight and Lions Club of Sun Prairie. Purchase your tickets at the Line Leap app. That's the Line Leap app, and we will see you there for a great time on April 13th for the Barstool Open. What does it take to make a diamond? Extreme heat and pressure and about a billion years. But you can't wait that long. What do you do? You go to Goodman's Jewelers. I'm John Hayes from Goodman's Jewelers. There's a reason we are the Diamond Store of Madison. Since 1933, we've provided outstanding service and selection to our customers. And that, in turn, has helped to establish countless great memories through the years. Goodman'sJewelers.com, located at 220 State Street. Truly a destination worth reaching. Your first round pick is here. Unleash unbeatable deals at Metro Kia of Madison. Get into a 2024 Kia Forte at 3.9% APR financing for 48 months. $22.53 per thousand borrowed. This deal available to qualified credit. Offers on the 2024 Kia Seltos include 4.75% APR financing for 48 months. $22.92 per thousand borrowed. Before April hits the fun around, score today at Metro Kia of Madison. Browse inventory at MetroKiaMadison.com. Hi, I'm Madison Money Guy, Christian Finfrock with Retirement Income Strategies. And what sets us apart is we're an independent, family-run office. We help clients like you understand the financial world and build a portfolio that's in your best interest. To learn more, go to madisonmoneyguy.com. As you're putting your spring calendar together, we'd love to have you join us Saturday, May 18th for Marco Siki's 6th Annual Casting for Kids Fishing Tournament to support the American Family Children's Hospital, UW Carbone Cancer Center. We're on the Madison Chain of Lakes early, then back at the Alliant Energy Center for 2.30 happy hour, dinner, and live and silent auctions with cool autographed hockey items, guided tours, and a brand new fishing boat. There's even more on our website, castingforkids.org. Help us help the kids, castingforkids.org. I've been here for 28 years. I didn't know anything about trailers when I started here, and now I know a lot about trailers. I enjoy what I do very much. I like the interaction that I have with my coworkers. 
and the pride that you have making the trailers. You always see them going down the road and you say, hey, that blue and white sticker, I made that trailer. My name is Sue and I'm proud to be a part of Stoughton Trailers. Stoughton Trailers, big trailers, big opportunity. Mark your calendars and get ready for game day at the 5th Annual Easter Seals Wisconsin Celebrity Basketball Experience, presented by Affiliated Dentists. Former UW athletes hit the hardwood on April 13th at Madison College to support children and adults with disabilities. Tip-off is at 3 p.m. And for some pregame action, be sure to register your kids grades 3 through 8 at the Shot Doctor Skills Academy from 1 to 2.30 with former UW men's basketball assistant coach Gary Close. All abilities welcome to register. Visit easterseals.com slash game day for more details. For official rules and more information about every contest on 100.5 ESPN, visit ESPNWisconsinContest.com. That's ESPNWisconsinContest.com. You're listening to 100.5 ESPN and the ESPN app. This is Kyle, Brust, and Nortman, sponsored by Bud Light on ESPN Wisconsin and Wisconsin On Demand. Fake ran all over you. Hater ran all over you. Fake ran all over you. Kyle Wallace believes the defense of the Green Bay Packers isn't as bad as we think. The funny thing of this timing is, I can't wait to hear what his argument is. Kyle Wallace, Ben Brust, 800-990-3776 if you want to get involved in the show. Go ahead, Kyle. Tell us why you think the defense isn't as bad as we think. All right, so here's the thing. I understand that this defense has had its ups and downs last season. In seasons before that, the defense has been the Achilles heel of this Green Bay Packers team with Aaron Rodgers and then also right away with Jordan Love last year. He basically, the defense did not help Jordan in moments, in the biggest moments where he really needed him, them to perform at the highest that they could potentially could perform. But when I take a deeper dive into this football team, right, when I look at this roster, the one thing that we see is we see talent. We see guys that can get things done for this football team. Rashawn We've get, seen talent for the last no, we know I, we've been, but, all we've been talking about is talent. Based off the scheme that the Packers had, the coaching staff that the Packers had, and where they were at, right? The Green Bay Packers were able to, despite having Joe Barry as a defensive coordinator, be a decent defense. Do you know the Green Bay Packers were top ten in scoring last year? There is total yeah, I understand. Homer has talked yeah, about it all freaking last six th- months. 17th in total defense, and for a defense that's supposed to be this big, bad defense, which, again, inconsistent. Failed this is some of the biggest moments, but remember early on in the season, and I love Jordan Love, but we had a lot of early games. He came back against the Saints, te- Saints game, 18-17. to 17. That was the one time he was able to come back, but he was able to come back. Why? Because the defense was able to slow down the Saints to hold them to 17 points. We had an opportunity against the, the Raiders. big, bad Saints. Uh, big, bad Saints. And who lost their quarterback starting quarterback in the game. James is good. And then the Oakland Raiders, excuse me, the L.A. Raiders, <laughs> the Las Vegas Raiders. Who fired their coach midseason. Hey, it doesn't matter. It's 17 points. You held them to 17 points. And what happened? Jordan Love had an opportunity at the end of the game. The Denver Broncos in that game. Did Jordan Love have an opportunity at the end of that game as well? The Denver Broncos. The, had an opportunity at the end of the game. I keep going. The, the you Pittsburgh Steelers. What I'm saying, moving. When I'm not moving the goalposts. What I'm saying is this. This team only allowed more than 24 points five times this season. Are you going to mention, you didn't mention the Los Angeles Rams. What do you mean? Why would I mention them? We held them to three points. Yeah, because why? Because they didn't have their starting quarterback. Yeah. And so, but my whole point is this, Ben. It's the fact that early on in the season, we knew our defense could not be trusted or relied upon. But the defense will keep us in games. The defense kept us in games. And that's the thing I want people to understand is that this defense clearly, despite having Joe Barry, was able to keep themselves in games. Top 10 scoring defense, top 17 defense overall. The defense has the pieces to be successful, but do they have their mastermind in place in order to put them in a position to be successful? And I believe with Jeff Halfley and the defense he's going to bring is going to let these guys really prosper on the football field. So I'm telling you this right now. When you look at overall this defense last year, year was it a great defense absolutely not wasn't an average defense sometimes average at best I think their ceiling is above average to good defense if you have the right guy in place you got Rashawn Gary you have Clint Clark you have Jair Alexander I still believe that Quay Walker has an opportunity to be a good 
a linebacker for the Green Bay Packers. You saw some, a lot of a lot of I believes. A lot of lot, add, lot of a lot of this, a lot of that. I'm just saying the Packers have. I've done each, this over and uh, over and over again. At each level, they have guys at every single I, level. We've they have guys. I've done this every single but year. Joe Barry you was just the said guy. Your, your Joe piece. Barry, he's gone. Every year it is they have this player on the defensive line, this player on the edge, this player at linebacker, Gary, this player Walker, at cornerback, Jair, this player at safety. Xavier. That's great. They got that's, him. That's every, wonderful. Every level, Gary man. didn't do anything the last 10 Coming games of the, the season. ACL, he'll be all right. Linebacker. Quay Walker's going to be good this year. Just wait. Okay, I will wait because he hasn't been that. He has not produced like a first-round draft pick would in the top 20 that you selected him in. So After for two years, I'm not just going to sit here and lie to people and just say, I believe that he – why should I believe that he These will? These guys are being – We don't know. We haven't seen Jeff Halfley's defense yet. So you're saying Can't before the draft – before we see the scheme, and knowing what these players have been, even if it's a bad coordinator or not, it has not been good enough. They don't even have the roster filled out on defense. Jason Wildey's telling us they're likely going to roll with some linebackers and potentially some safeties that they're going to draft that are going to be playing very significant minutes for this defense. So for you to say they're not as bad as you they're think not, they are? They're not at their, they are not a great defense. What a defense. standard they're you are not, setting for the no, Green Bay what, Packers. What I'm, what I'm you, saying, you are just not, phrasing it in a I'm, way for you to feel good you when could, you lay your head down on the pillow. No, you're picking and choosing. Watching the games last year, the Packers had opportunities late, even against the Giants. Opportunity late. Jordan Love. The wasn't Giants a, had Tommy DeVito, I'm dude. Just, uh, what I'm Don't saying, use that. They got. Come on. They, listen, Tommy DeVito torched him on the ground. But what I'm saying is this: is that the defense allowed for Jordan Love to have opportunities to win the football game late. It was too early on in his career for, to be able to make those comebacks happen like he did against the Carolina Panthers. But it was coordinator or not, you need if you have the talent that you say. You don't let happen what happened to you a couple times. The it's, Panthers put up 30. Some t- the Panthers man, were scoreless. Systems. Remember they talk about system teams, right? The Green Bay Packers were so playing So that's your excuse for could, the worst uh, offense uh, in the NFL putting up 30 my, on my, you? My excuse is the fact that our oh, head coach... Excuse. Our head coach... No, the reason, the rationale is the head coach of our football team had to actually play a huge role in the defense. He had to take over the defense. Our defense was disjointed. We had players like Devondre Campbell blowing up. You had Jair Allen. Alexander not wanting to play for his defensive coordinator. The team did not believe in the leader of the defense. And when you do not believe in the person on top, it caused a lot of discernment. It caused a lot of confusion. It caused distrust amongst the players underneath him. And when you do not have a team... Re-legislating the past... I'm, not of do, what, I'm just like, letting you know what happened. I know what that, happened. When you and everyone dis- knows that Matt LaFleur to step in. You can't thrive in dysfunction. No and crap. You Joe know who's in charge of dysfunction of a team? The head coach. And so if the head coach allowed dysfunction under Joe Barry, I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm just going to trust that Jeff Halfley's going to come in and everything's going to be gravy. He got Jeff Halfley because he has head coaching experience. He comes from a great coaching tree in NFL as well. Jeff Halfley is going to make a great mark on this football team. He's going to put guys in a position to succeed. The Packers are already talking about how they're going to be aggressive. Candy Clark no already crap. talking about going to be aggressive. Well, no crap! That, so we if don't, you get somebody it's new, a of course. It's a scheme change. You're, you're listening to, to Preseason rankings is what you're listening to. Is all the coach speaking? We're out. Of have course, good they're excited. On this football team. We have good, good young talent on this football team. You said it yourself. Every what? Colby Wooden is good. Colby Wooden. Did we have good? Football? Colby Wooden. I'm so young. Shut the hell I'm up just, with this, dude. Good young the Packers players. are not even close to a top ten defense, and this function that you mentioned will be top fifteen is, next year. Congratulations, that I mean, doesn't win you it, a Super Bowl. It, it, it takes steps in the process, and you're going to see the steps being taken. Adam this year. chimes in. Kyle's got more excuses than OJ. Ron the key chimes in. Says Ben will oh, lie yeah. here a lot, but not about the Green Bay defense. And I will not let you come up with this. This is the worst take. It's you've not, ever had. It's not a bad take. When you look at this football team, it has talented players. You have a pro bowler on the defensive line. Have pro bowlers at outside linebacker. You have a safety that is a Pro emerging. bowlers on defensive line. Kenny Clark is a pro bowler. Outside linebacker. Rashawn Gary. He's not an outside linebacker. He's a defensive he did, end. Oh, now he's going to be a defensive end. Okay, so now you got multiple now. And then you got Quay Walker, who I think Quay Walker has Oh my God, down. I'm, I'm just, done with Quay just, Walker. Just, I believe, I believe, I believe. Cut it. I'll believe when I see it. it. Cut it and cut save Cut this whole damn segment. You mentioned Kobe Wooten. You're, 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 you're outside your mind I'm, right I'm now. Not, 
I'm not. Here's the thing. Instead of instead of looking at the wins that the Packers defense had, you want to focus on the fact that the Packers defense was inconsistent. I'm focusing on the wins, and I'm focusing on the fact that you removed the head of the snake that was the problem, and that was Joe Barry. You removed Joe Barry, and you allow for guys to put him in a position to succeed. The Packers are going to be better. You sit here. We saw what Jair can do. We saw what he can do. We know how disruptive Kenny Clark can be in spurts. We know what Rashawn spurts. Gary. We know what Rashawn Gary can be. We've been told and we've seen what Xavier McKinney can do. So when you have position players at positions across this defense that can be impact players, not field tilters, but impact players, this defense can be better than what they were last year, Ben. Let's go to Mike and Menominee Falls. Mike, save me. Oh, Benny, where do I start? Kyle, for crying out loud, I mean. What? What, the Kool-Aid you've got is stronger than any Kool-Aid in the world. The Green Bay Packers' defense consists of a bunch of people that refuse to tackle because they're afraid of getting hurt. Your Jair Alexander, he's a very undersized person. He may cover okay, but he cannot tackle. The last time he tried tackling somebody, he broke his collarbone. The guy is too small, too frail, and not aggressive at all. These people, they don't, they don't attack the ball. They, they stand back and wait for something to come to them, and that's the reason why they... They, everybody runs over the top of these guys. Nobody tackles. I don't care. And, if, and Goody, it's obvious that this guy's got absolutely zero acumen for evaluating defensive line talent or defensive linebackers because these guys just, they're all first rounders. None of them, none of them can tackle. Nobody, nobody covers. It's like watching a bunch of eighth graders out there against grown men. It, it got, reminds me of what Kyle was like on the scout team of UW Whitewater. Thank you for the call, Mike and Menominee Falls. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was a shot. Oh wow! It, it, you're not responding because it must be too true. I, listen, I, I I couldn't tackle. I got in trouble, and so I said, "Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Let me just tag off." And then my career went like Tiger. Well, Tiger still has a great career. Did you just compare yourself to Tiger Woods? It went downhill. That's what I was trying to say. Did you have an Elon too? Oh no, no. I, I know how to control. Let me stop. Break. But uh, first, no, no, go to break. This is Kyle Brustin Nortman. Things never <laughs> happened to you from a breakup. Uh, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> oh, no. I don't want to talk about you it. You brought it, so I had to ask. Yeah, I, I, would, I mean, I, I, I ain't going to put, I ain't gonna put uh, my old, my old shorties on blast. But Why I'm, not? They're old shorties. I've had, I've had some. I've they're had they're some, old shorties. <laughs> yeah. My parents listen to this show. I don't want my parents to know the craziness that I've dealt with that they sub Your been a part of. On ESPN Wisconsin and WisconsinOnDemand.com. Hey, it's Ben Brust, and one of the best events of the year is the Barstool Open. Join us Saturday, April 13th at Whiskey Jack's from 10 a.m. to noon. Grab three of the best golfers or drinkers you know and put on your best costume for the one-of-a-kind mini golf bar crawl in downtown Madison. Enjoy $4 Bud Lights and $5 Neutrals. All proceeds from the event will benefit the Badger Honor Flight and Lions Club of Sun Prairie. Purchase your tickets at the Line Leap app. That's the Line Leap app, and we will see you there for a great time on April 13th for the Barstool Open. Your Honda gets you everywhere. When it needs service, you need Zimbrick Honda Service. Their customer service is second to none, and you can experience it yourself at two convenient Madison locations on Fish Hatchery Road and Grand Canyon Drive. Honda certified technicians handle it all. You can even get flexible payment options. Fix your car now and pay later. Apply online to see your options in seconds with no hard credit check. Make your service appointment online at ZimbrickHonda.com. Zimbrick Honda Service Center on Fish Hatchery Road and Grand Canyon Drive. Part of the Madison community since 1973. Shop Zimbrick Honda. It's ESPN Wisconsin's Brad Norman. NBA fans, listen up. You've got to try Pick 6, the newest fantasy app from DraftKings, an official partner of the NBA. Getting started is simple. Select if a player will have more or less of a certain stat. For example, will a player have more than one rebound? Or will a player have less than three and a half assists? Pick your favorite players and compete for huge cash prizes. Download the new DraftKings Pick 6 app now using code MADISON and take on the competition with your best NBA player picks. Only on DraftKings, pick six with code MADISON. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. 18 plus in most eligible states. Age varies by jurisdiction. Eligibility restrictions apply. Pick six not available in all states. For up-to-date list of states, visit dkng.co slash pick six states. Void where prohibitive. See terms at pick six.draftkings.com slash promos. Condon Jewelers, Condon Jewelers, the jeweler on the east side, the jeweler on your side. When you see Diamond Jim, you can count on him to be on your side. 
selection beyond compare with on-site repair so you can wear your jewelry with pride condon jewelers condon jewelers the jeweler on the east side the jeweler on your side Ben Brust here to tell you about the Princeton Club. I joined the Princeton Club because I was looking for a place I could invest in my health, and the environment and the community I have felt has made it so easy for me to incorporate it into my everyday life. It doesn't matter where you're at in your fitness journey because they have something to offer everyone. It also goes beyond fitness. From the moment you walk in the club to the moment you walk out, there is a togetherness felt throughout the members and staff that keeps you going for your better tomorrow. Don't wait any longer and get started on your fitness journey today at PrincetonClub.net. That's PrincetonClub.net. Searching for the perfect brunch spot this weekend? Look no further than the Great Dane Pub and Brewing Company. Every Saturday and Sunday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., indulge in the Great Dane's sweet and savory brunch menu paired with mimosas, Bloody Marys, or one of their signature beers on tap. Enjoy any of their four Madison area pubs, downtown, Hilldale, Fitchburg, or East Madison. Learn more and view the full menu at greatdanepub.com slash brunch. Great Dane Pub and Brewing Company, Madison's original brew pub since 1994. Transform your home with Ridgetop Exteriors. With over 22 years of service excellence, we specialize in roofing, siding, windows, doors, and gutters. Visit us today at RidgetopExteriors.com. That's RidgetopExteriors.com. Find your trusted, local, affordable partner here at Ridgetop Exteriors. Join the Madison Money Guy, Christian Finfrock, for Retirement Income Strategies, Saturday and Sunday mornings at 7. Get the information you need as you plan for retirement. That's Retirement Income Strategies, Saturday and Sunday mornings at 7. Investment advisory services offer the Retirement Income Strategies and SEC Registered Investment Advisor. This is Kyle Bruston Nortman, KBN, on ESPN Wisconsin and WisconsinOnDemand.com. I said, okay, okay, loser. We go way, way back. I won't say, okay, boomer. On Twitter at KB at ESPN, we started the show with some audio from Chris Canny of Unsportsmanlike across ESPN Radio, where he thinks Jordan Love will be the next quarterback without a Super Bowl win to get one. So we put it up there on Twitter at KB and ESPN. Which quarterback hasn't won a Super Bowl will be the next one? Josh Allen, 10%. Lamar, 13%. Jordan Love, 45%. And the field, 30%. The field is active in the comments as we see a Jared Goff. We see a Josh Allen as a comment. Had to respond to that. Nah. Um, <laughs> uh, yep. And Zachary chimes in. I'm pretty sure you guys read a tweet from Rich Pecker and Spread Eagle. Of course, Rich Pecker from Spread Eagle would agree with Kyle. What does I don't what does what does that mean? What of course Rich. Pecker, Thank you, Chris. Rich, Rich Pecker. What do you what does that mean? Rich Pecker and Spread Eagle. What is that? Like why would he agree with me? What are you I, trying to say? I'm not trying to say anything. I'm just reading Chris, what the tweet Chris, said. Chris Ding Ding did so obviously I'm out the loop. What are you? Are you actually are you actually confused? Or are you doing a thing? I'm. I'm. Do I play around? Do I fake? No, I have no idea what you're talking about. What's Rich? We're going to keep it that way. I love that he, Chris, I love that he doesn't know. Don't tell him. Is that an inside joke? Or? No, I think 99% of people listening know what's going on except Rich for you. Pecker and Spread Eagle. What do you have to tell me? You're the worst. Are you being, are you being real? I have no Rich Pecker and Spread Eagle. Okay. <laughs> So why? Okay, of course. I Of course. Why did we, why, like, why is there? Of course they would agree with Kyle. I don't understand that. Are you saying that I can relate? Is that me? Maybe. So I'm Rich Pecker in, uh, in Milwaukee. I'm not rich. Are you serious? Are you, like, look at me in the eyes. You're smiling. I don't know what you're talking about. Kyle. I, like, what world? Hand to God? I, literally, I don't understand the correlation between me and Rich Pecker. <laughs> He's like Darius Rucker. Oh, man. Oh, the text line gets it, and uh, that's good. Uh, whisper sweet nothings in my ear. Diana McGuanago, Kyle's number one fan. Hey! Please don't comment on Richard Pecker and Spread Eagle, but please comment on the sports you like to watch on TV versus being in person. Baseball. Diana, you're calling in with a one-word answer? No, it's baseball because when I go to the games, I feel like I'm there for a turn to see. So I would rather watch that on TV so I can get up and physically move around if I need to. Thank you for the call, Diana. Now, what I'm going to say is that is a horrible take. 
Oh wow! Don't do my girl like that. Um, the, the Diana oh, wow. like that. That is a horrible take. You don't do dirty baseball. Diana you're like never. That. You're not there long enough anymore. These shortened games with the pitch clock. I love it as a fan of watching on t- on TV. But you talked about the experience of going to the ball game. You even say yourself, I, it goes too quick now. I, I, By the time I, you get in, it's the third inning, I, and then I, they stop uh, selling uh, alcohol at the seventh. Yeah, I mean, I, it's I, time I, to go. I personally enjoy the baseball games and everything around it. Is you don't you don't go to a baseball game? Listen, you can go to X Golf. You can go to different places and do different. You things. You can do that. Shopping. Did you know you can go to X Golf during at the game. Field when, when the game's not on? Yeah, I do know that, but I'm saying when you're at an actual baseball game, you can golf, you can watch baseball, you can fraternize with people. I mean, it's a great experience. Um, what sport would you rather watch on TV? Football, golf, basketball, or baseball? Um, football at 74.3%, which is very interesting in this state, knowing how much people pride themselves in having season tickets and going to Green Bay Packer games. Mm. Must be culty. Excuse me? I'm saying the people that have tickets to these Green Bay Packers games are culty. Don't don't see you've been throwing you threw disrespect at me saying something about Rich Pecker. Now you're throwing disrespect at Dirty Diana. How do you know now that you're it, throwing disrespect towards Packer season ticket holders, calling them culty? Well, I mean, they probably just pass them on generation to generation, yeah, and they keep just getting older and older and older. Complain about the noise, the uh, this you know, and not making enough sound. It's Kind of stale. I mean, it, stale, but they're not culty. It's a long list. A long list. I think it's like 30,000 people on that wait list, Ben. Are you on it? Uh, I should have got on it. I keep pushing it back. I remember I was like 18. I should have got on it. I was like, ah, it'd be too late. I'll, now I probably would have been halfway through the list. Yeah, I mean, the Lions fans really showed up on Thursday Night Football. It was Milwaukee night. It was Thursday. It was pretty Oh, bogus. so you're making excuses that was pretty, now. It, it, Who's trying to drive up on a Thursday night game? Who in Detroit is driving from Detroit for a Thursday game? It, they driving for, they're driving for an experience on the road at Lambeau. That's an experience, Ben. I don't know why you're looking at me like that. Now, that's Lambeau, a, the first experience. time I walked into Lambeau Field. You felt it. <laughs> you, fe- you felt <laughs> the mystique. You I love felt the energy. The first time I, wa- I walked in, you felt it. <laughs> you did. It. There is an it. There is an it. Um, I think for me it was, I don't know. Th- I love the way that the like the press box area with the number, like mm-hmm. it just, it's very slick and sleek. There's something Slick and sleek. There's something very special about walking in the Lambeau Field. Regardless if you've gone to multiple games, your first game, there is something special about walking into that stadium. And the Green Bay Packers organization has done a phenomenal job to be able to keep that mystique and that vibe once you walk in, that aura of old school football, legendary football at Lambeau Field. Uh, they turned an ordinary space into something extraordinary because that's what it was. And that's what you can do with your home with Pella Windows and Doors of Wisconsin. They have a luxurious look, a sleek look, and custom colors available to guarantee to give your home the extra pop and entertain and make you feel comfortable. So, like, if you're looking for it all, they can work